Welcome to the Soap Dish. Hi, Terry Knight, my co-host. Hey, Mark Taylor, how are you? I'm doing well. Good. So Good. Be before we uh, get into this, I wanted to say I've had a couple of um, reach outs on Facebook where from our listeners that would like to have us spend, they'd like to know more about us, Terry. Us oh, really? People. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm sure? kind of that. I'm kind of that <laughs> way too. When I listen, you know, you always kind of wonder who are these people, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering next week maybe. I didn't want to drop that on you today, but oh, thank uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe next week we'll spend we'll spend up a couple. Yeah, you got you got time to make stuff up this way. Sure. So so do I. <laughs> yeah. So next week let's do that. We'll open with that for a few okay. minutes, if you don't All mind. Right. Does that sound? No, okay? I don't mind. No. Yeah. You bet. All right. Okay. All right. So let's get into it. Yes. Did you like my new my little uh, emojis that I attached to the to the uh, to the agenda uh, agenda today? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> Very creative. <laughs> it was, and they make so much sense. Yes, they do. Uh. All right. So Eric continues to see Donna on pickleball <laughs> afternoons. <laughs> now. Is this her? I'm I'm having trouble figuring this out. Where is this? Is it is it her apartment or is it a club? No, or? that's a club. It's, so it's, they they have room, like hotel rooms or, or something in the club. No, I think wealthy people have those places that they can. Oh. Yeah, I I would know, but yeah. No, I wouldn't either. Do. <laughs> but I think I think in those real high end, um, well I can't athletic club there let's put it that way yes let's just say that yeah let's say that um <laughs> but it, well and the one of the reasons i understand that is because hope when she overheard about quinn and eric and eric left and hope said well i'm going to the club that's exactly anyway. that's yes. what made me think oh because in my mind before that i was thinking it was like an apartment or something, yeah, no. but no, yeah, I, that's what that's what got me going this week. Or you know, I heard that her say that I'm going to the club. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So next, uh -huh. so Quinn is talking to Carter on a couple different occasions over the last week or so since we last podcasted. Yeah. Um, on, <laughs> there were two different occasions where the smart ring that. Eric is wearing that uh, that uh, Quinn had made for him. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been sounding an alarm, Terry. No. It goes to it goes to Quinn where there's this beeping noise, and it it's telling Quinn that he's exerting himself. <laughs> Indeed, Indeed. He, he's exerting himself. <laughs> but Indeed, uh, yeah. he is. Yes, yes, with honey. Yeah, um, the honey bear. <laughs> That's just so corny. I can't even believe it. But um, they keep coming back to it too. By the way. Oh yeah. And but do you get like if you went to the trouble of making this smart ring, would you not immediately go to? And you were so concerned. Why would right. you keep staring at the phone? Why wouldn't right. you go? And yeah. Okay, yeah. it's a soap opera, so I get it. Right. But. Yeah. Well, I got to keep the story going. Yeah, that's, yes. that's most of it. Mm -hmm. All right, so Quinn gets so concerned that she calls uh, Bridget yeah. Forrester, who is a doctor, and is mm -hmm. Eric's daughter. With uh, she asks her to come over and see. Uh, well, come over, and then she explains that she's got health concerns with Eric. Yeah. But why wouldn't she show her what was on the phone? Or why, I why didn't I, I, you know, it's kind of like, don't, doesn't a doctor need some numbers? Right. To. Uh, yeah, right. Again, exactly. it's a soap opera, Terry. <laughs> You're trying to make sense out of it. I know. What am I thinking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. anyway, there's lots of concern around Eric's health. Yeah. Meanwhile, this gets back to what you had brought up a little bit earlier. Next, Hope is going to the club and she sees Eric making out with Donna in that room. Yeah. Uh, and yes, Terry, the door <laughs> was partially open. <laughs> How many times have you and I talked about that? I know. 
I mean, I, you know, I mean, you really leave the door open. When especially you, especially when you're, you're married to another woman and you're leaving a door open. Yes. And you're at a club. At the club where anybody could walk by. Yeah. Yeah. I, Interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like you said, Terry, it's a soap opera. That's true. Yeah. So there's only so many ways I suppose you can catch somebody uh, messing around like that. <laughs> <laughs> and they've tried, they've kind of, they've kind of, you know, explored all their options there. That's for sure. Yeah, that's, they have. All right. So now Hope goes in after Eric leaves. Mm -hmm. So she goes into the room and confronts Donna about the illicit affair that they're having. What's funny is Donna said, it's not really an affair. And I'm like, well, then what is it? It kind of is. <laughs> yep. It kind of is. Yeah, pretty much. So, and, yeah. oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, what I don't get, you know, Eric, he's an ass. I'm sorry. But how, how come he, he's like, Okay, you're doing the exact same thing that Quinn did, only in kind of an ickier way. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Uh, frankly, Terry, it kind of blows my image a little bit of Eric because I've always kind of yeah. liked his character. Uh oh, I lost you. Hello. Hi, Terry. I lost you there on the phone, so yeah, that's what okay. was happening. Okay. So anyway, but, yes. oh, go ahead. All right, so you lost some respect, shall we for, say, for, for Eric. Eric. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just kind of blows my image of him. I always thought he was mm -hmm. pretty squared away, dude. Yeah. Mm, not All right, much. so that's how that kind of thing wound up yesterday. Today, um, I don't know if you had a chance to check, but I lost my cable at 1210 today and it's still not back. Oh. Um, so, but I'm assuming the hearing, the January 6th, uh, 6th hearing was on when my cable went out. So I'm assuming oh. that ran all afternoon. Yeah, maybe so. I, I don't know. I, like I said, it, I was 24 minutes extra in traffic. So, yeah. um, I didn't get a chance, but I did want to, I wanted to take note of how fabulous Taylor was looking oh. as she said, <laughs> I knew I'd get that reaction out of you. Oh. Yes. She, she looked pretty fabulous sitting on Bridges desk. Do you yeah. remember that in that? Yeah. Yes. Was that when she was wearing that yellow kind of high, you know, Kind of higher end outfit. Yeah, I would call it. I don't know what you call sort it. Of like an a amber color. Yeah, there with you. the halter mm -hmm. and a pair of really nice pair of slacks. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. I did. I did happen to notice that. <laughs> I thought you might. You knew I would. Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. So meanwhile, uh, the other, the really good other storyline that we've got going on is Deputy Chief Baker comes over to tell the foresters, and it ends up being Ridge and Taylor, that Sheila has escaped from prison uh, with the help of a guard. I knew something like this was coming, Terry. I think it was last week that Sheila was making googly eyes with that one male uh, corrections officer in the jail. Did you see that? I did. I did, and I thought the same thing, too, because I thought, yep, there's going to be something. They just set that up with the, the look. It was, it was pretty subtle, but it's like, okay, so something's mm -hmm. going to go down here with with this jailer. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so she's out. So now, uh, she, next she shows up at Lee Finnegan's. I think it's her apartment, Terry, because I, otherwise I don't know where Sheila would have known where to go. Right. Well, yeah. but Sheila was, Sheila said something about hunting her down. Yeah, that's true. So, but still, it did look like kind of an apartment. I think I so. I too. Yeah. Or yeah. condo, whatever. So mm -hmm. Sheila shows up there. While she's there, all of a sudden these beeping noises start to happen in the next room. 
which, you know, it sounded like, sounded like medical equipment beeping. Uh, Sheila barges into the next room to find Finn alive laying in his hospital bed, mm -hmm. you know, hooked up to all the, the uh, instruments. And, you know, my immediate reaction was, okay, Sheila's going to be busy fawning over Finn right now. Lee, have your phone and start dialing. Right. Right. But she had plenty then, of time to dial 911. Well, you would think so. Even if, even if she would get in trouble for keeping Finn where she is. Which she will. Yeah, but is that, would that be illegal? I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I was trying to think of what actually statute that would sketchy. actually fit because there's such a thing as um, uh, interference with a dead body, etc. I lost but you again. In this case, you know, I feel like I'm in that commercial. He keeps hanging up on me. <laughs> Or I'm no, not hanging up pink, on you. That's a Pink Floyd tune, wasn't it? It is, yeah. I can't yeah. remember the name. Brick in the Wall, yeah. Right, another Brick in the Wall, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, but you're right, that whole thing. But again, it's a soap opera. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so what happens next? So Sheila, that whole deal goes down. She ends up knocking Lee out. Yes. <laughs> that so that's kind of how it ended yesterday, if I recall correctly. Yes, it did. That's mm -hmm. with Lee on the ground yep. and Finn waking up. Yes, that was all. And, it. and yep. him You're right. seeing, he saw Lee briefly, but he really came to, to Sheila. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got thoughts on that. Okay. What all about right. you? Yeah, yeah, let's move into that. We, we got predictions next. Okay. You want to start, Terry? No, I, I, okay. I think I did last time. Yep, you did. Um, okay. So let's say this. Uh, let me get back to the Quinn storyline first. I'm going to say, uh, I'm trying to think now how Hope, I'm trying to think about how Hope is going to take this information she knows and what is she going to do with it that she caught uh, Eric. I think she's going to have a moral struggle there. Mm -hmm. Um I'm not sure that that's how it's going to come out. I'm almost thinking it's going to be something to do with the smart ring that that's going to end up kind of tracking back to getting him, getting him in trouble at this, at some point here. Yeah, I, I hope so. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't know that I want hope to be too involved in that. I don't I mean, think I she will of, be. I, I don't you know. Either. She might say something to Liam. But he's yeah, kind of the will. last one to give advice on, well, yeah. you know, Screw that. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Or maybe she would say something to Thomas. Mm. I don't know. I don't yeah. know why she would. That could take. I, I that know. could take different twists. Maybe just to have somebody else to talk to. Yeah. I don't. Know. I or or it could be I a case where that. she's overheard telling somebody, Terry. <laughs> I mean, I might make that uh, prediction. That that, it, yeah, that Hope is telling Liam or telling somebody and, and somebody overhears it. Oh, that could, yes. could totally see that happen. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I do think they're going to, I am going to predict this, though. I think they're going to milk that out for a little while yet. I don't think it's going to happen in the next day or two. No, I think, I think you're right. That's definitely going to go on. And they're sort of setting it up that Quinn is going to look like the very wounded person mm. because the, with the way that Bridget was, you know, talking to her and also the way Hope seemed actually concerned because she could tell when she walked in on Eric and Quinn talking that she was upset. So I don't know. Mm. It could be. So what else do you have? I want to hear. I want to hear what you have. All right. So then I'm going to say um, Sheila. I'm trying to think of how this thing's going to go. I'm going to say that. Um, God, I can't quite see. I mean, she can't. Sheila's not in a position to really move. Um, 
Finn by herself. Otherwise, I think say she'd scoop him up and take off, but she, she he's not in any condition for that. So I'm going to say, God, she can't call the police, though, either, Terry, because she's <laughs> she's a fugitive. She's on the run. Mm -hmm. So my guess is she's actually going to I'm going to say Sheila's going to leave. I'm going to predict that okay. she's going to take off with now the knowledge that he's alive and she's going to go hide out somewhere and regroup, uh, oh. develop a plan about how she's going to proceed, you know, go forward with this to get to get back in contact with Finn because she can't call the cops. No, no. So. That's, that's interesting. I hadn't thought of that. Okay. Yeah. She's kind of All in a right. pickle because okay, now she knows she's alive. He Finn's alive, but what does she do with it? You know, she's a fugitive. Yeah. So okay, I mean, but what is she gonna do about Lee? Oh, Lee's not gonna say a word. No, Lee's not gonna say a word because she's she's because like she's, you said, she's worried she's committed a crime herself. So well, and like. Sheila said, you're crazier than I am. I know. That was great. <laughs> it was. I thought, well, she's got yeah. kind of a point there. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Well, I have, I have different thought and I don't, okay. I, but I, but I like yours. Um, my first thought was that, okay, she is, Sheila is going to, um, she's going to tie Lee up. She's going to make it so that Lee is just there. Ooh, I like that. And Sheila's going to stay there. And oh. she will threaten Lee. You do anything and I'll kill you. Because clearly she doesn't care. Right. Um, and I think that... Finn is going to get better and better, but Sheila's going to give him the wrong narrative. So his, because he's going to have issues with his memory. So I think that she will convince him she's his mom, always has been, and he just had an accident or whatever. And she's taking care of him. And then when he is well enough to move, she'll get him out of there. That's what I don't know. I like I that. I mean, it's kind of a long I like that, though. way around it. But she needs a hideout, so why not it be right there? You're right. Yeah. That works. That's what I'm thinking. Now, wow. what, whatever she'll do with Lee, at some point, she'll probably have to kill her. It'll but, come to a head some way, yeah. Yeah. All right, I like that. Got any others? You got anything on the other the other hot storyline? You know, I I don't. I th okay. I've thought about it, and I thought, you know, nah. There's so many that. ways they could go with that. It, that's, oh, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. So. All right, cool. Okay. Whew. Well, <laughs> check out my post on Facebook. By the way, I posted one of my my stressful days with Victor Newman on the Young Restless today. Oh, did you? Okay. I will definitely <laughs> check that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Terry, until we dish again. Oh, keep it sudsy. And we are out. All right.